Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. That's right, can't believe it. We're already almost in August. This year's going by so quick. Anyways, you guys are well aware of the calendar. Let's get into the picks. First up this week, we have Manor Black number one. This comes from Dark Horse Comics. Comes from the same creative team as Harrow County and Six Gun. That's right, we have Cullen Bunn on writing duties. And this book is a gothic horror fantasy about a family of sorcerers in crisis. It's kind of a regular cover by Tyler Crook, but what I like on this is the regular price variant for it, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Next, we have Batman Last Night on Earth number two. The world's been destroyed and Batman set out on a mission to find out who's responsible, but as he runs across more villains in his path, things become even more complicated. I enjoyed the first issue. I really enjoyed who Batman was lugging around in that little lantern he was carrying. There's gonna be a regular cover by Greg Capullo. There's also a regular price variant by John Romita Jr. Batman Who Laughs number seven. This gives us the final showdown between Batman and the Batman Who Laughs. We get a regular cover by Jock as well as a regular price as well as a regular price variant by David Finch. I actually like the Finch cover on this one, so that's the one I'll be going with. Next, coming from IDW, we get Canto number two. Really enjoyed the first issue. First issue took off like gangbusters on the secondary market. We were privileged enough to have an interview with the creators, David Boer and Drew Zucker, on this channel. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video, as well as a card up above. But issue number two hits this week. I'm super excited for it. Previews said it was gonna supposed to come out last week. I was looking for it then, but we're finally getting it. So issue number two has a regular cover by Drew Zucker, as well as a one in 10 incentive variant by Morgan Beam. While you're looking for issue number two, keep in mind the second print for issue number one also comes out this week. All new gorgeous cover on that, so I'm gonna be picking that up as well. Next, probably one of the most sought after books coming out this week is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 96. Last issue we had Jenica turned into a turtle. This is the issue running right up behind it and it's gonna have a regular cover. It's gonna have a regular price subscription variant by Kevin Eastman as well as a one in 10 incentive variant by Sophie Campbell. And a lot of these books are sold out online already so make sure you have it on your pull list. Call up your LCS, see if you can reserve a copy or get there early because everyone's gonna be hunting for this book. Next from Image Comics, we have Spawn number 299. That's right, this is leading up to the road to 300, the huge Todd McFarlane issue. But this one's gonna have a regular cover, a regular price virgin variant, as well as a regular price black and white variant. One thing also to note is everyone's talking about issue 300, but issue 301 is supposed to be another big issue. So if you can, make sure you have that one pre-ordered or Add it to your pull list at your LCS. It's also important to note that the second printing of Walking Dead number 193 will be hitting shelves this week. 193 is well sought after. It's kind of cooled off a little bit, but people are still buying up copies, especially that San Diego Comic-Con version. Second printing, Walking Dead 193 also hits store shelves this week. Avengers number 22, this is gonna kick off the challenge of the Ghost Rider story arc. There's a regular cover for this, as well as a gorgeous carnageized variant. I usually like the regular cover for this, but if I can, I'm also gonna pick up that Carnageized variant just for how gorgeous the cover is on it. Next, we have Captain America number 12. This is one of those books, if you haven't been reading, I highly recommend you do. It's been a lot of fun to read. Captain America's fugitive, one from the laws, trying to escape, and while doing so, is trying to prove his innocence. It's gonna have four different covers for it. There's a regular Alex Ross cover, a regular price Carnageized variant by Butch Geis, a Marvel's 25th tribute variant by Julian Totino Tedesco, and another Marvel's 25th cover by Alex Ross. All those covers are gonna be regular priced. Next, we have Conan the Barbarian number eight. This is one of the titles I always keep in my pool list. Conan the Barbarian, Savage Sword of Conan, two titles I'm absolutely loving right now. This contains the life and death of Conan story arc, and it's gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Asad Ribic. There's a regular priced Carnageized variant by Bill Sienkiewicz, as well as an incentive variant for this book. Me, I like the regular cover on this, but that Carnageized variant is absolutely gorgeous. Sienkiewicz is known for his art style. A lot of people are looking after that one. It's a sold out at a lot of places already, but regular price, Sienkiewicz art, I'm going to be picking that up as well. Next, we get Death's Head number one. This is all new miniseries. This one's going to have four different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Nick Roche, 
There's a regular price connecting variant. There's a one in 25 incentive Mike McComb variant and a one in 50 remastered Liam Sharp variant. Next we get Marvel Comics Presents number seven. The issue before this is still going off like gangbusters. We got onto its third printing right now, but number seven has Iron Man facing the biggest financial crisis of his life, as well as Logan on his mission to stop demon truth. We have a regular cover for this, but what's hot and what is my pick of the week this week is the one in 50 incentive variant by Raza. Next, just like last week, we had the big House of X release. This week, we're getting the Powers of X number one release from Jonathan Hickman. That's right, it's the new revolutionary direction for X-Men, which reveals the past, present, and future of mutant kind. There's gonna be a whole bunch of different covers for this, just like House of X. So instead of sitting here naming them all, I'm gonna show them all on the screen for you right now and let you guys choose which ones you like the best. So there you have it. Those are all the covers for Powers of X number one that's coming out this week. My personal favorite cover of all of them is the Stephanie Hans variant. Really enjoy that. Huge fan of Stephanie Hans art. Love that fluorescent pink background cover. Really makes the foreground pop. But that's just my opinion. That's the one I like. So that's the one I'll be picking up. Next, we have Star Wars Galaxy Edge number four. Now, if you're not familiar, Disneyland has opened theirs. Disney World is about to open, but they have a brand new Star Wars land. There's a ride in there called Galaxy's Edge. So this comic, this little mini series that's been going on, it's been kind of telling the whole backstory of, of those Star Wars lands and the Disney parks. First issue was phenomenal. Been reading it so far. The last issue, number three, had a 120 a 1 in 25 variant that really took off. So number four is out this week. You have a regular cover by Tommy Lee Edwards, as well as a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Stacey Lee. That 1 in 25 seems to be sold out at a lot of places online already. So if you find it, you can find it cheap. Definitely pick that up. If you see that at your LCS this week, make sure you get a copy. Thanos number four. This is the mini series that continues to stop, that continues to tell the story between Thanos and Gamora. It's gonna have two different covers for it. It's got a regular cover by Jeff Decaul as well as a regular price carnageized variant. I love the decal, I love his artwork, so I'm gonna continue to pick up the regular cover on that. But if you haven't been reading it, I highly recommend you do. It's been a fun story, hasn't been super hot in the secondary market, but if you enjoy reading just good comics, this is one that I like so far, so I'm gonna continue to pick this up. Next, from Scout Comics, we get Category Zero Number. This is one story from Scout Comics that I've really been enjoying. Like I've said before, if you do like, if you're a fan of X-Men, fan of Mutant, Category Zero is a great story. It's about people that have been infected by a virus that give them mutant-like abilities and how the government reacts to them. Adam Camille, great author on this. Love the artwork as well. Scout Comics, Category Zero number three. Definitely make sure you pick this up this week. Heathen number eight. This comes from Bolt Comics. This is one of the first titles from Bolt that I picked up. Alien Bounty Hunter, Heathen, two of the earlier titles from Vault Comics. And if you haven't heard, Heathen is becoming a movie. Just got attached to director. The director of the Twilight movie has been attached to this Heathen movie. So if you like strong female Viking stories, this is a great story. Highly recommend picking this up. Knight's Temporal number one. This comes from Aftershock Comics. Again, written by Cullen Bunn. This story is about a man coming back from the Crusades who's ashamed and horrified by the things he's done. He's determined to root out all evil and decides to pursue a vile sorcerer into the forest and instead ends up emerging into the modern world. This is gonna have three different covers for it. There's a regular Fran Galen cover. There's an incentive one in 10 Nat Jones variant as well as an incentive Mike Ruth variant. Also, the sponsors on our CBSI Bolo show, SlabbedHeroes.com, does have a fantastic exclusive variant for it. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check that out at SlabbedHeroes.com. Next, we have a book that I've been waiting for it to release for weeks now, kept getting pushed back, but it's finally here. And that's Leave on the Light number one. This comes from Antarctic Press, written by Bradley Golden. Bradley Golden, great guy, great writer. Love his horror comics that he's creating with Antarctic Press. He is really active on Twitter. 
So if you have any questions, make sure you hit them up there. But I was able to read an advanced issue of this copy. Kind of reminds me of that 80s horror movie, Shocker. Kind of similar storyline, but is a fantastic read. Highly recommend you guys pick this up. And there's going to be a regular cover, as well as an incentive foil cover. I myself like the foil cover on this. There's also some other covers out there, some Kickstarter covers, some exclusive covers. So if you're interested in those, make sure you look for those. But from what's being published from Antarctic Press, I like the foil cover, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Test number two. This is another book from Vault Comics, written by Christopher Sabella, arts by Jen Hickman. First issue is fantastic. Can't say enough good things about it. Has kind of a Blade Runner type feel to it. Really great story. Issue number one sold out at Diamond, so highly recommend you pick up issue number two. Plus, Vault just makes great comic books. It's one of my favorite indie publishers. There's no secret to it. There's no hiding it. I always say so. But test number two, really looking forward to reading this issue this week. So there you have it, guys. Those are my picks for new comic books. They're coming out Wednesday, July 31st, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. There's a bunch of others out there. Some that I liked, I just didn't put it in this video because I try to keep this video streamlined. There's a bunch of them out there that I, I'm sure deserve to be in this video. So let me know from you guys what titles you enjoy reading. And if you would, please click that thumbs up button for me. Make sure also, you, if you haven't done so, you click that subscribe button as well as that bell notification. So that way you always be notified when a future video drops on this channel. I can't say enough about all the subscribers we have. Great community. Love everyone's interaction on the live stream and in the comments on this video. Really appreciate it, guys. Love each and every one of you. And with that being said, this is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.